Ladies and gentlemen, I don't want to create fear and panic, but World War III is among us right now. An American is over in Europe invading, slaughtering, in-game of course. His name, Lol Tyler One, also known as Freedom Fighter 28. He's battling it out for his country on the rift. Uh, he arrived four days ago, Berlin, Germany, current location. Um, and he has just been putting in the hours. No matter how many European Inters he gets on his team, there's a guy with almost 50 deaths in one of his games, he keeps on trucking along. He's representing his country, just like a tale as ages, as, as old as times, back into the, the World War One in nine, 1900s-ish. Back, the war is way back, just like that. Like he, he's fighting for his country. That's the, the, the main point. And today, I'm going to break down his League of Legends gameplay, make some predictions. The man's diamond one right now. Will he, able, will, will he be able to get challenger in probably one of the hardest regions in the world? That's the question on everybody's minds. He seems to think he can. Some people saying he can't. Without further ado, let's jump onto the rift and break it down. And today's recording, of course, is from Tyler's stream. Gentlemen, I'll put a link down in the description below. Tyler's a really wholesome guy. Really supports the community, gets around so, everybody. And he puts in the hard work, and that's why I really do respect him. Three, how's it Fair to be so good looking, big, athletic, wise, while being the smartest low player big. that is streaming for entertainment? Could you ask Mr. Could you ask Midbeast that question for me? Thanks. Nobody has ever said that in their fucking life ever. And that scrawny, pale, lanky, crusty, rusty, pipsqueak ass bitch. Cut the clip, cut the clip, cut the Let's just jump straight to the game, gentlemen. Welcome to Summoner's Rift, ladies and gentlemen. We're playing Olaf top. He is dominantly playing top lane. Top lane and support are his roles. A little bit of AD carry, no mid, no jungle. Do I think they're his best roles? Yes, I do. I think top sup is going to be the speed run to challenger. Playing Olaf, he plays Cho'Gath, he plays Urgot top. He plays Nautilus sup. These four champions are the key. Olaf, you're able to absolutely steamroll over your opponent. It's actually a good fit for Tyler. He goes chug chug, and he starts screaming. Perfect, good, great fit. And you have Cho'Gath, who's just CC bot, Overtune champion. Nautilus, CC bot. Draven, who's a one-trick Like, this is lining up to be a great climb. I'm excited for it. He has 30 days to get Challenger. Put your predictions in the comments right now. Every single person put your prediction for his rank in the comments at the end of the trip. Not for the for his peak rank. Not his ending rank, peak rank. I'm going to go ahead and say Master Tier, 612 LP will be his peak in the US. Peak. Some of you may be saying Challenger. Maybe some of you saying he's not getting out of Diamond. It's going to be a journey. It's a noticeable effect. Looks a little bit stuttery or laggy there, bro. Um, and Tyler, dude, I don't know. This poor fella. I don't know if he chooses to play this many games, but he just doesn't seem healthy. I remember when I first watched Tyler, and, like, I don't want to say I made him, but, like, I was one of his first viewers way back when, when he first started. I'm not a fan, obviously. I'm not a fan. Like, we're of equal celebrity status, colleagues, business partners, etc. Not a fan. But I do, he, I do have a lot of channel points in his channel. I like to watch. Not a fan. Um... You know, the progression of him to now, dude, I don't know. Like, I'm just, I, I, I pray, I pray he beats his addiction and he maybe tones the league down a little bit. Like, you know, instead of doing 20 hours a day, he does, maybe does six to eight, eight hours in the office and then, and then, and then does whatever else he, what he wants to do. Just think it's a bit healthier, get a little bit more sleep. Get, you know, I don't know. Hey, I'm not, it's his life. It's his life. He's, look how jacked he is, but still. Um, this top lane matchup into an action. This will be a bit interesting. Matchup is quite hard. But if he lands a few of the Qs and the... If he lands... Be unpushable. Yeah, he has to be careful early. The only way he loses this is if he dies, like, pre-6. And he has a DC. Oh, God. So, yeah, he had a Master Ego 1 in 48 and a Syndra that went, like, 1 in 40, I think. He's the cannon. Top. Yeah, he's not risking it. I've said this always, Tyler is a great League of Legends player. I've always said that, yes or no? Is his mechanics as good as people like Chovy? I mean, he beat Chovy, maybe. But no, his mechanics aren't that good. Where Tyler comes clutch is, is his game sense. 
um, and his sheer amount of time he's able to put into the game. That's his two biggest... His macro and the, the ability to play 30 games in a day. That's his biggest advantages, in my opinion. Also champion pool, but that once again comes into him playing so many games. He plays these champions, he becomes a master of them. I think Syndra... Is she back? What? I don't know what happened. Was she... I don't know what the hell just happened. Um... Action moves in. Q lands. He's trying to bait it. If 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 the Akshan spins in, he's just insta ghost flash on top of him. Who hits again? I love it. If you're lower elo guys and you want free, oh spin ghost shield proc ignite fade away. If he lands the Q, he lives. Q. Was I shit talking his mechanics earlier? That was as clean as clean like, comes. Solo killing every laner, every matchup. He's so getting. Wait, I played against like three counter matchups in a row, by the way. He's getting so many solos so in EU. Guys suck. I actually don't know how this matchup is, but the last two of them. Action should be to no left easily counter matchup for sure. What's he gonna build? Hydra, Triforce. What's the setup? All right, I'm not going dog shit Hydra. Let's go. Stridebreaker? I think I- am the most successful stride. I do think Hydra can be a bit of a bait on Olaf. I see some people go it and it just doesn't really give them much. They get one shot. When you go things like the stride break of the try, you get pretty beefy. A lot of inbuilt good stats there. And you can perma shove anyway on Olaf. I, I, I really do concur with him there, not buying it. I feel like it, whenever, I, whenever I see these top laners in pro play doing it, they do rush it, but that was a couple patches ago. And Hydra did, I think, get nerfed. Something happened there. And EU is a hot spot right now. TF Blade just landed. Dante's the Hecarim guy who does suspicious things with Lulu, uh, just landed also. Um, the Kane guy. Mm. Karasmai has landed also. Sorry, Karasmai. Uh, who else? Oh, god damn, America is invading EU right now. Am I going to be going over EU? I will. But I'm just going to, I'm biding my time. Maybe I'll wait for, you know, these Americans to do a little bit of work so that I can come in and just, you know, last hit and clutch. We'll see. We'll see what, we, we'll see what I do. The PJ is ready on the tarmac. Private jet for those that are poor. Um, it's ready to go. Simon, my pilot. He's awaiting me, my call. Is he freezing? He has a lead. He needs to... As a top laner in low elo, and I know this is diamond one, but like, it's still low elo. Uh, game plan, always. Demolish your lane yes, into Rift Herald. What is this? My other video settings? What is this lag? I think he, you need to go into like full screen or windowed mode. There's Bad something... Is coming. Yeah, there's something wrong with your computer. Yep, Herald, come back into the frozen lane. Great wave management, Chovy-esque. Chovy-esque. Love it. Nice. And the Akshan is not able to move up. He does copper Q. Force the spin, then zone out on the 20 second cooldown. You really don't want to let, it, let him freeze this. Holds it. Tries the bait. Doesn't do it. Dude, 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 dude. What are you doing? A little bit. Okay. I... DC'd. So he's DC'ing. This is not good. Something wrong. There's something wrong with his internet or connection. Nothing more frustrating than that. Hopefully the food situation for Tyler is a bit better than it was in Korea. Uh, Tyler's... Oh, here we go. He lands the Q. Yep. Pop the Ignite. Eat him up. Eat him up. Eat him up. Hey, um. He goes down, but Fizz wastes I the mean, roam. I this wouldn't even be close if I wasn't fucking dc I'm Yeah, the DC, the DC ruined him, 100%. Good all in, though. Well, that's when I get my boots.
Haley Steinfeld. Who is that? Why do I know that name? I Bombino. Okay, the EU names. I miss EU, man. It's my favorite server to play on. I prefer playing on it than Korea and China. And people say there's so many inters in EU, which there are, but like there's not... There's not as many to turn me off of it. I still think it's high quality gameplay, good banter. The wave is good once it's again. Happened in combat for sure, by the way. Like 100% I died because of it. Yeah, At I agree. Once. No copium? I agree. One thing I respect about Tyler is that he just always solos, by the way. He's not like a duo abuser. Doesn't have many excuses if he doesn't climb, except for all the win traders, etc. So maybe he does have excuses. Um, usually he, slug, he, he slogs it out. And even if he doesn't achieve his goals, I always have the respect of how much determination he puts in to what he, what he does. How much... Like, he's so... He perseveres. Perseverance is maybe a good one. Is... Definitely tilts, but he'll go and rage crew 50 more games to get a win. See this range top lane abuser. Finally gets hit by the Q and then he spins out. Tyler now on that cool then has to try and pressure, but... There's just not enough. He'll push and look for the dive. I'm sure if I wanted to... Like, he, he's trying to hard shove this to... Let's see a one for one here a play in a one for one is worth let's see if he wants to try and risk it looks like he's not going to bother gets the plate and goes away oh fps cap no it's been happening the whole time gotta get a tech wizard in dude moving oh that's why it's a counter matchup Olaf mid is playable, for those that don't know. You can play Olaf mid. Uh, don't ask me the matchups, but there is a couple of good ones. There was an Olaf mid player in Europe. He used to run Barrier Europe, and... Uh, Barrier Ghost, maybe? Army, I can't remember his name, but he got over a thousand points, Chow. He was a good player. Looking like a bit of a close game. Could go late. Two. Just goes wide, using that... Active D, to get the shove. We're going to move in. Q. Here comes the Graves. Should be a smoke screen into the dive. Auto Q. Hey, hey. Okay. I feel like Graves could maybe got more there. Didn't have flash. An enemy has been slain. Love this permit. Like this. Like Olaf top. I'm not going to say abuse it, but it's pretty abusable. We can get a dive here. Dude, 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 chill. We have to, dude, please get this dive. Deny the count. Oh no. You could have killed. You're gonna wait for the graves. Okay. There we go, there we go, there we go. It's all it all works out in the end. I think Fizz is gonna be fun. Ultimate, trying to charge away. Q lands. Just kite it. Kite, kite, kite. Now go back in. You're good. You're good, you're good, you're good. Oh god! Gets it. Run, 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 run. Bow, 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 bow. This is mid. This is Got good. Nothing, bro. Graves is gonna die. Clutch! The boys. That was a fucking clincher. The clincher, but it works. Love it. I think I'm fine. I don't know if he's gonna make it. Stride breaker completed. Going back top. Looking like a, a pretty snowbally game here for blue side. Starting to run away with it. The Fizz has a, a rower. I would honestly say because the Fizz went row, it's GG, but we'll stick around. We'll play it out. Master tier promo is coming up. He's getting like plus 30, guys. He, he is going to climb very quick. The LP gains. The problem with the LP gains is yes, you gain more, but if you get a lose streak, which Tyler is definitely a little bit vulnerable of, a little bit of a tilt spree, um, if he loses 10 games, rip like 250 points. Gone. I could see him doing 300 day flux, 300 LP day fluctuations. I could see it happening easily. Ah, you little fucking rat. 
Okay. Some Cillian. Old team. Ultimate up in five. He should be fine. Let them try and... I'm trying to chase him down. We get a little excited, bro. If he lands one more, oh, that hitbox. He's gonna go for it. I think he, I think he solo kills here. Stride break up. Just sit and deliver. If you're below, if you're below diamond, guys, play Olaf. Learn a couple matchups and just run at them. It's a good, it's a good strat. Take the tower. Zoe support this game too. Two Drakes, EU. Zoe support is really good. I think Zoe support is one of the most underrated supports. Ever since they changed the W, percent. where you can steal away their summoners. Just take the tower. Just take the tower, brother. You got this. Now run this little rat down. Never mind. Doesn't want to get baited. Smart play by Tyler. Doesn't chase. Knows that the Zillion pops the ultimate. And the enemy action's gonna come through. I like it. And I'm wondering if he changes the champion pool at all in high elos if he does get stuck a little bit in the climb. I don't know how Ivan is in the meta. I don't see Ivan. Is that like I the only time I ever see Ivan played is when Tyler played it. I'm not kidding. So I'm guessing it must be pretty crap. Or just it's such a niche champion. As the we worst have options I've seen, they're all shit, man. No, and there's some good ones. LP. Master tier 150. Um, there are some good actions. Dr. Toot, Dr. Dr. Toot. He's really good at the champion. I've seen him carry with it. Okay. Just sitting in the bush. I like this play. He's going to wait for them to move up and then instantly go for it. Pops the zillion. Oh my god, he plays so well. So do you see how he baited that zillion ult? Didn't use his ignite. Um, he baited the zillion ult. Instantly diverts his focus onto the rest of the team. Exactly how you should play it. You make zillion panic. Use the ultimate on him, the weakest member. You never want to let Zillion use his ultimate on their strongest member. First there just to get his R. He knew he was going to R himself. Me and Tyler think alike sometimes. Just like that. As I do get daily messages accusing this guy of using in performance enhancing drugs to get his size, his structure. I think that Tyler one's natty. I'm pretty sure we didn't, didn't they, didn't we do a natty or not and, and determine no, he's actually natural. I've seen him work out in the gym. He works out hard. He does eat like... He eats really bad though. He doesn't have a great diet. I showed up vision. And it's pretty hard to work... Like, it's pretty hard to outwork a, a bad diet, but... Some people's metabolisms, you know, maybe his small... Uh, I'm not calling him a small guy structurally, as in like his height, but like he's definitely not tall. Uh, no offense, but uh, yeah. Could be a couple of different factors going in. As we have the death dance completed. I love bru bruiser items are so good. DD, Black Cleaver, Stride Breaker, Hydra. Like there's just so many good bloody items. Hex Shrinker, more. G8. A little bit silly in my opinion. But nobody cares about my opinion. As Zoe lands the bubble, she will one tap Zillion. Ultimate should be back up. There you go. And here comes Tyler. Wasted the Q. Looking for another one. Doesn't land it. And now someone's going to answer the pipe bomb guy in the bot lane. And if this Fizz starts to get a little bit out of control, throw a Fizz. I don't like, I don't like it, but the higher level he gets, the more I do. But also, no, I just don't think throw a Fizz is it. What's the point of playing Fizz if you can't one shot? There's so many, you might as well just play a, a, a DPS mage. Like Second time Victor. Nice, bro. Or well, even, even utility mage like Ari.
waves are in. His, the music on his stream is like, I don't know. I don't think, he mustn't even listen to it. The game's still so, same cool. six songs, poor fella. Like the best part about like, I enjoy just sitting down playing League and listening to good music. Cause I, I'm, a, I'm your music listener when I play League. I don't know about you guys, some people can't play with music on. I play League with music on. I'm a music guy. I wake up in the morning, music on. I'm going to bed, music. Music, music, music. Is it a disease that I, I just permanently don't like silence? Maybe. Maybe that is it. Maybe that is something to look into. So we kill the zillion, and now we might actually just straight up be able to rush the Nash. It's 21 minutes. Tyler's trying to take down a 4,000 health Scion, which is just a little bit silly, but the zone control as the Fizz comes through. Ultimate's procced. Baits the whole team. Every single person's ultimate. Gets the fizz. Oh, look at what's so laggy, bro. Like stuttery. Look at this. But it, it's saying his frames are still high. I don't. I don't understand what's going on. It must be the internet. It must be his upload, not his download. I don't know. I'm not an internet technician kind of guy. Finds the pantheon. Stride breaker. See ya, buddy. Cute. It hits. One more cute to save the world. And we miss it. The world is doomed. The world, everybody dies. Unless he can't save the day. Fucking stride. Stride. Dude. DC again? Yeah. This is. Tyler, you got to get someone to fix this. If this happens in your master tier promos, bro. Bro. If this happens in his master tier promos, he's probably gonna. Whoever's whoever's letting him stay in their house in Europe is gonna regret it. He's gonna smash a hole straight through that in wall. In fast, please. We can figure out what's going on. I don't think Berlin, Germany has the greatest of internets, right? Isn't that where the L I, I know a lot of gaming teams in the LEC and stuff. They some of them still struggle. Like copper internet, not much fiber. Like they have fiber, but some non like I don't, I don't know. Not as bad. Nothing as bad as bad as Australian internet, but holy shit, my clips aren't working at all. Compared to oh god, get home. Oh no. Derax run top. Put auto attack on. If you're ever having DC issues, put attack on. Sometimes you'll fight back and you'll win. Most of the time, you'll probably die because of it. Don't listen to me. This Fizz level 16, Tyler on level 15. But he just doesn't have the damage. He doesn't have the damage, sir. War Dragon game. Pantheon AD carry. I mean, I don't know about this one. Because you have an action top, it seems doable. I mean, server issues, not streams going down. Hmm? To action. To group or not to group? He's deciding on group. Ops the ultimate. Oh my god. What the hell is this? He's gonna... Get the fizz, but he's gonna go down because of it. But the action rest. revs, yeah. Ah, damn it! It's gonna be such a long game. Yeah. <sighs> Has the stair axe three item spike now? That's kind of unlucky. Stupid action mechanic. Bubble. Okay, I see you. I see you. Ah, uh, guys, please be careful. This is gonna kill the graves, isn't he? Oh, he gets him. This. Pew, 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 pew. I don't reckon they can come back, but it's always possible in EU. A little bit of rage. Let me push side, please. Here we go. A little bit of American shot calling. Tyler does. Tyler actually does type a lot of instruction sometimes to his teams. Normally it's complete crap flame, but sometimes it's pretty relevant.
no force one of a side lane. Like, there's no reason to get fucking picked there. This Fizz is just sitting AFK. Fizz will never do damage. He'll have to be the legit full build. By the way, if you want to have fun in solo queue right now, your go-to ban is Zaya. Do not allow Zaya to be played back. I don't care if you're top, Jung, mid, 80, sup, ban Zaya. Don't allow yourself to play with it. It's broken. There's not much counterplay in high elo, I don't think. It's... This quick blade setup is just stupid. It's like two more barons, losable. Gale, Scion, Fizz, Zillion. It's just a Zillion scaling I'm scared of, yeah. Olaf falls off like a truck. I assume they're saying fall off like a truck. It's like if you threw a truck off a cliff, it would fall. But so would, like, I don't know. It's a silly saying, but I get it. I understand it. Up the recall. I mean, as it is right now, we're playing for a DC. They just pr yeah, the enemy team is just praying to other DCs. I'm wondering if TF Blade... When was TF Blade's last trip? Was it... It was probably with me in Korea last year, right? wonder how it was going to go. I think... Out of all the solo queue climbers I've watched, and I've watched almost all of them, TF Blade is one of the most impressive. I think he probably can clutch rank one. He did it last time and I, I was with him in EU in 2019 where he clutched rank one in two weeks. I'm Blade's lucky charm. Maybe he got rank what? Rank four in Korea? Rank three? Don't chase a fizz, you I silly. Mean, death in its baron. Don't chase the fizz. Oh, inting sign. Baus. Wait, I just realized. We might get Tyler one versus the Baos FFS. I'm not going to say I'm going to farm that for YouTube content. But if it does happen, expect a video, guys. Baos Olaf versus... No, Baos Sion. Has to be Baos Sion against Tyler one Olaf. Or Cho'Gath. Helps so much, though. Olaf and Cho'Gath, are they related? Cho'Gath. Olaf. No, I don't think so. I think Cho'Gath is Void. Cho'Gath, Kai'Sa, Kha'Zix, something, there's something going on there, bro. I'm not like, I'm not the smartest apple on the, on the, on the bush, but, hey. I'm an apple, I am there. Apple a day keeps the doctor away. Baron, secured, reset, not bad, end not the bad. game. Let's go, baby. Hmm. Actually goes, he wants to go Spirit Visage. Scared of the fizz damage. Raid. <laughs> you raid. Huh? Tyler, you good? I'm going. Please stop doing that. We can end the game. It's an A ram play, please. Watch it for me, daddy. Here we go. Tyler charging in. He grapes bot side. Zoe mid. We're waiting for the Syndra to try and catch up. Tyler did not need to tank his 90% of his health bar there for fun. Wants to see what's going up in the weather up in the top lane, but it's an int. He's impatient. Uh, My stair axe actually isn't up. Yeah. So. Impatient plays like that happens so often. What's it up? It's up now. Now, here we go. He's gonna try and bait with Sterax. Moves in. Sterax prop. Come here. Come here, buddy. Fizz. Yep. Ignite, ignite, ignite. Yep. Will fade away. Fade away. Beautiful. I see you west timing. Yep, fucking. Can't correctly fucking time our glasses here, guys, or what? Metric system, dude. Chill. Oh, a double bomb by Zillion? They're gonna go for the end. They do have Nash. They do have Nash.
Freedom Fighter. Can he get it? They're gonna move in. He just face tanks the Scion. Don't know why. Okay. And 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 and. and. He's, he's kind of fucked me. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Tyler won in Europe, gentlemen. Won the loss. I'd be pissed if we lost. First and foremost, he has to fix this internet issue. You can't get away with this internet crap in uh in like above like Grandmaster. You're gonna get the the that's gonna be too much. Secondly, I like the Olaf. I like the aggression. We're one game for Master Tier promos. One game for Master Tier promos. I'm pumped. Okay, hold on. We're back. Ladies and gentlemen, until next video, thank you for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Let's see how he goes. Peace.